Welcome to part three of Tips in the Kitchen with Jill. And today we are making a hearty chicken soup. I don't use any type of a recipe, but I'm just going to tell you what I've done so far because it takes too long to chop everything up. Basically, I took three chicken thighs, skinned them to cut off all the excess fat, took a skinless chicken breast, put them in a pot, filled with water, let them boil for about an hour until they fall off the bone, take them out, let them cool down, and during that time that they're boiling, I add seasoning. I add thyme, I add oregano, I add rosemary, I add um, a little bit of salt and pepper, some garlic powder, um, and just, and just kind of let it all, those seasonings kind of just let them just permeate that broth. And once you've taken the chicken out, you've got the broth, use a strainer like this and basically strain the, strain the broth so it's semi-clear and then put it back into the major pot. Now you're probably going to need some extra chicken broth. I usually use two of these organic Trader Joe's chicken broth, low sodium. Let's add our own salt to our own taste. And, and then I do some chopping of uh, one onion, one white onion, uh, six celery stalks, three carrots. Um, I usually do four tomatoes diced or a can of tomatoes if that's all you have of diced tomatoes. Um, I do four cups of corn or two cans of corn if that's all you have. And ladies, do check your canned expiration dates. I think mom, when we were growing up, used to buy all these canned goods and thought we'd have them forever because we'd use them when the nuclear attack happened. But they all do have expiration dates, so double check those before you're using them. Um, so we've got our onion, our corn. Um, I use one cup of barley, a half cup of lentils. Make sure those are cleaned off. And uh, put them all in this pot. So now they are now stewing in there, doing a good job. But then I want to tell you the secret ingredient. And that is this lime. I'm going to show you what we do here. To get the most out of this lime, you just have to make sure it's washed off because you don't know who's touched it. Ladies, you know, the grower has taken it off of the, and picked it. Then you've got guys putting them in boxes to be shipped. And then the grocer takes them out and they stack them up. And then you've got people that are picking them up, deciding if they like it or not. You don't know where their hands have been. You know, wash them. Make sure they're washed. So do that roll it and that kind of helps get the um, juices flowing in the lime here and then uh-huh 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 oh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <coughs> this is really the best way to get fresh lime juice <coughs> pour it in your pot and this is the secret ingredient. <laughs> Enjoy your chicken soup. <laughs> <laughs>